Now here is our DE inverter on one of our clients. As you can see there is no grid. He's only generating 124 watts. But his battery has 973 watts going into it. And it's coming from his generator. He's consuming 789. So this particular customer has his gen set up. And the gen will start, the inverter will start the gen charge the batteries while powering the loads and then turn itself off after three hours. That's what we programmed it to run for a maximum of three hours. And the reason we did three hours is because we set the charge current at 30 amps. More after this. Here's another client. At 10.29 a.m. they are producing 9.18 The grid is present and they're pulling 797 out of out from the grid. Bear with me. The battery is not full as you could see, so that excess is going to charge the battery. So it's putting 130 watts into the batteries. The batteries are 62%. So in this time of view situation scenario, as you see. There, whatever is coming in is going to charge the batteries and then the customer is pulling uh, from the grid their consumption so let's look at the consumption and see what that number is consumption right now is 747 sorry um, consumption is 747 watts and then from the grid they are pulling 797 so that there is a 50 watt differential I can't really tell you what it is it could be what the inverter the inverter uses 50 watts to do what it does so that could be the um, their consumption plus whatever it takes to run the inverter that's what that 797 is and as of that time when I pull this up they were um, generating 918 watts earlier on it was generating 1900 so I'm sure there was a little bit of cloud cover. Let me see if we refresh, if that number improves or not. Um, it's 10.37, and the time that was updated on the server was 10.29. Let's see what that number is now. It's a little slow. It takes about 10-15 um, seconds. So 10.35, as you can see, production went up to 2,310. We look at the numbers again and we see what that says. So, from the grid, he's pulling only 19 watts from the grid, so that's nothing. Remember, before he was pulling 797, now he's only pulling 19 from the grid. The battery is getting 1556, so it's almost double what we we're getting before. The battery is now at 59 volts is a, a flooded lead acid battery and its consumption is now 680 so you see how time of use works so what it does is whatever is coming from PV is charging the batteries and then um, whatever load they have is coming from the grid now once the generation exceeds the combination of both it will ignore the grid it will power the loads and then put the access to the battery so that's how time of use works here now let's take it. So this is mine. I don't get time of use because I'm not connected to the grid. So as you can see, 727 watts. Um, I have two strings. One is pushing 300 watts. The other is pushing 427. I didn't show you that. I didn't show that to you for the last customer. I have no grid because I'm off grid. Uh, my battery is at 87 percent, and I'm pushing 216 watts into the battery. My consumption is 460 watts and my BMS right now is limiting charge to 20 amps so I cannot do more than 20 amps in charge if um, the sun does pop up, miraculously pop out. So we're going to go downstairs, we're going to take a look at the inverter and then you can see what exactly the inverter looks like and what it's doing in real time. For those of you that are new to my channel, here is my system. I have a 5 kilowatt power box and then I have the DE 5 kilowatt inverter. So we're going to take a closer look. 
So, um, as you can see, I'm currently uh, generating 1,307 watts. My batteries are 88%. And my BMS will limit charge current to 20 amps. It doesn't matter what I produce. If I don't have the load to support it, I'm stuck at 20 amps. So at this current voltage, that means I cannot do more than 1,000 watts. Um, 2 times 5, 10. Yep, a little over 1,000 watts with my loads. So my loads are currently, so let's, let me read that. So my loads are 391, so it'd be 1,391, give or take a few watts. That's what I'm going to be able to uh, generate. So for me to generate more, I have to add more loads. So that's one thing that I find out with this, with this particular battery. Once it gets a certain percentage, then it goes into the equivalent of absorption. And at the equivalent of absorption, it reduces um, the car, it reduces generation i guess it's also reducing it reduces current which in effect also ge reduces generation so if you think about a lead acid battery when you're charging it you have your bulk and you have your absorption the absorption is constant voltage and it just maintains voltage it doesn't um well whatever it requires to maintain voltage is the only thing you can generate so here in this situation is only 20 amps it needs as you see my grid zero from my grid because I'm not connected to the grid and then that's my load once more so if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions please post it in the comment section below if you have any questions feel free to ask if you have suggestions and things I could do better uh, post them I know it's been a while I've not done videos I actually got two phone calls asking me when I was going to do my next video and here it is once again thank you for watching this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.